Yo guys, welcome back to the PDC Geo video. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing off one of the funnest decks you can probably play right now in the standard format, and that is the Colossal Cherim deck. This deck is awesome. Of course, Colossal has the attack Coal Cannon, which does 90 damage. You flip a coin for each energy on this Pokemon, and it does 90 damage for each head. That is very, very powerful because 90 for each heads is a lot of damage. If you flip three heads, that is 270 damage. And of course, we can use cards like Twin Energy to increase the damage output. We have Glimwood Tangle to reflip. But now we also have Cherim, which can allow us to accelerate energy to the Colossal to make it easier to pull off Full cannons. And this thing can take a one shot in a lot of things. I played against a lot of decks today, like Jolteon, Bolton V Max. I even played against Mew V Max in this video, and it was a wild time. Again, this is a lot of fun to play the deck, building up a thick colossal with energy, and then just taking huge knockouts really quickly with Cole Cannon is amazing and a lot of fun. The only downside is, of course, we are a stage two Pokemon, but. As long as you don't draw like a potato and you can actually set up your Colossals through Rare Candy and thanks to Crobat and Cricketune, we have a good amount of draw in the deck. We can get the Colossal in play very easily and then have it come in swinging very, very hard. So yeah, for the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe pack codes, make sure to go get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern is selling codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are looking to get any sets like Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies, celebrations chilling rain get them over there or if you're looking for irl pokemon tcg singles too car cabin's got them too if you get anything at car cabin just at the checkout make sure to use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your order to help the channel help yourself out and help our car cabin so shout out car cabin check them out and use my discount code code ldf all right here's the list i'm rocking with for the colossal deck again being a stage two does kind of suck a little bit because it does mean we have to make sure we're getting stage twos going pretty easily um, but again, because of cards like Research, Bruno, Crobat, it's not too hard to get Rare Candy Colossal going. Um, now, being a fighting type isn't bad either. I did actually happen to somehow play against three decks week to fighting in the video today. And believe it or not, all three of the decks gave me a run for my money. You, you would be surprised. It's just that's how inconsistent playing a stage two deck can really be. Even when you play against a deck, you can hit for weakness. I can still give you a run for your money because of Colossal being a stage two Pokemon. Again, 90 is really insane because if you flip four heads, you're KOing basically any VMAX in the format, which is insane. Even something like Duraludon can get bodied if you don't attach your Twin Energy. Again, Twin Energy is fantastic in here, allowing Colossal to have that two extra energy boost for its attack is really, really powerful. Some other stuff, of course, Energy Retrieval to get energy back. And, uh... I mean, that's that. Only other cards to consider adding, you could try out a Maractus in here as an extra Pokemon. Maractus is like Colossal, but does 60 for each heads, and it's a basic. But Colossal is just kind of getting the job done. A lot of the time, you can win the game with like two or three Colossal attacks. So it's like, you don't really need the Maractus, in my opinion, as long as you're chaining Colossals and with like two copies of Ordinary Rod. It's not too hard to get that going. You could also maybe add um, something like a Zinnia's Resolve. I could definitely see more draw going in the deck. As you can see, we do not play Boss's Order. Um, because it's just we're attacking the active that's all we're really trying to do is just your opponent puts a v max in the active spot they think it's safe and then colossal comes in and wrecks it stay with coal cannon that is what we're trying to do today you can definitely add in more draw in the deck more boss if you want to play boss stuff like that but again it's a bit of a tight on space deck due to everything we have to kind of cram in here to make it consistent and flow really well um, but i am proud of how the deck did i got what five games in today's video so hope you guys enjoy the matches let's get into it all right, we won the coin flip. Now, my opponent might be playing Blissey just because of the deck box. I don't know. It could be Blissey. Oh, my God. Let me get a Crobat start. Yikes. No Pokemon Search. Just a Bruno. Hope we can draw, like, a Cherubi or a Roly Coley or something. Or not. That's a yikes. Damn it. You might get Marnie. I might have, I'm going to have to play the Bruno. I'm, I'm, it's not a might. I am going to have to play the Bruno. They're playing an Inteleon engine deck, though. We'll see what it is. Greedent VMAX. Okay, that's a perfectly fine matchup for a fighting deck. But, uh... Ah, we could be in trouble. Okay, they do Marnie me. There we go. Yep, they are. I predicted the Marnie, and they do play it, which is fine. I don't mind that at all. As long as I don't draw too poorly. Probably going to have to bench Cricketune so I can do something. And I drew poorly. Rip. Not good, not good. I actually don't want Crobat to get knocked out either by Greedent VMAX. That would suck. All right, we'll see we draw. Nothing. Cool. Well, hopefully we get Marnie again. That's uh, my only my only request. But we're probably going to see a Melanie for my opponent. So unfortunate. We got bricked off of a Marnie, and it's not looking good for us right now. We're in a pretty bad spot. Our top deck has to be like something good. Okay, there we go. And as I saw coming, they do Marnie again. Honestly, I probably should have put the air balloon on the Truby. We'll see what we get off this Marnie. We finally get a supporter. We do not. But at least we got something. We got level ball plus Cherim, which I guess is an improvement over the last hand. But not by much, though. 
Not by much. Not by much. No siree. I don't know where my draw cards are at. I don't know where my quick balls are. Because we can get Cricketune. Cricketune would be great here. I mean, I could draw a whole hand of four with Cricketune. Or a hand of three anyways. I could actually, you know what? I probably would promote Cricketune in the active spot, to be honest. If I do draw Cricketune, I would retreat into it. Because I do want Cricketune to be in the active here. To draw me four cards. Considering we're struggling to get a draw card. If after two Marnies, we still haven't found a draw card. So I don't know what's going on. So we'll have to see what happens. Or we could get a research top deck. That'd be bless. Speaking of research, I'm going to get research next turn. Again, I don't want Crobat to get... I don't want it to stay in the active because they can go max game and give me into turn of profit and knock out my Crobat, which would be bad. I also don't want to lose my loyalty Pokemon because the more time I give them the setup, the easier it is for them to knock out like Cherubis and uh, Roly Colies in one hit with turn of profit. Because we're drawing like a potato right now, we're not going to get there, but can we draw something finally? We do get a research. All right. That Marnie at least blessed me. You did prize out of Colossals. Good to know. Get that down. Get that down. Get that down. And research. Right? Let's see what we get. They got research too, so we're probably not going to see a Marnie from my opponent. And we got Rickening Colossal, which is good. A quick ball with the E retrieval for another Roly Coley. Honestly, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm paranoid. I might want to grab Marnie, but it's fine. Um, I just pass, right? Yeah, I'm not going to go move into Roly Coley. We're going to just let the Crobat sit in the active. They could knock it out. I doubt it. They'd have to go Melanie, Powerful Energy, Max Gimme Gimme. I guess they could like Max Gimme Gimme me and then like quick shooting me and knock it out at some point. But as long as they aren't going to turn a prop at my Crobat, I really don't care. So we'll be okay. I want to set up the Colossal. We'll be okay. Now, my question is, are they going to really Marnie me again? I'm so paranoid of a Marnie. I actually probably should just grab Cricketune with that Quick Ball. Because I am that paranoid of Marnie. But I feel like they're not going to Marnie me. We'll see. We'll see. I kind of want them to knock me out, though, so I can play Bruno, but whatever. A rope. Ooh. That's fine. I'll go into Roly Coley. So I've still got Rarity Colossal. As long as we don't get Marnie, it's not a big deal. And we're not going to get knocked out here. The most they can do is 50 damage. I guess, no, they could knock me out. They get Powerful Energy plus Inteleon. They can knock out my Roly Coley. Maybe I should have just gave him Cherim then, to be honest. But if we talk out the first greeting with Colossal, I think we'll be okay to win the game. As long as we just play smart, we should be able to win if we just take the first knockout here with Colossal. They didn't even get a powerful energy on, and they're only doing 30 damage. They can maybe do, like, another quick shooting, but no, nah, it's not going to be enough to knock me out. So it looks like Roly Coley lives to see another day. We'll see, though. We'll see how it goes. Like, I, I, I don't care if it gets KO'd. I, I mean, I don't like them taking half the prizes, but I don't care if it gets KO'd because I get to play Bruno. I don't know. No, they're going to go for Shady Dealings. I don't think that gets them anything. I'm pretty sure they can't grab anything off Shady Dealings. Unless they're playing Justified Gloves. Or the, the gloves that lets them do 30 more damage to my fighting Pokemon. Whatever that glove is called. There's no way they play it. Why? There's What fighting Pokemon are you trying to tech for? Before they actually play it. If they actually play the gloves that hits fighting Pokemon, I'm going to laugh. That's going to be kind of hilarious. I'm not going to lie. That's going to be a good meme. They could grab a Counter Stadium here. Which could be annoying. I, I might need the reflip depending on how well we draw. Okay, no, they don't. I was going to say, if they actually play the fighting gloves there, that would be a good meme. But, like, again, there's no fighting Pokemon you need a tech for. So, like, whatever. Oh, I guess they could try to goon. Again, without powerful energy, that's not going to be possible. I'm pretty sure they're not going to get a knockout. They also don't have quick shooting at the moment, so don't have to worry too much. Okay, cool. Let's see what our top deck is here. Grass energy? All right, I called it. All right, I'm not going to lie. Despite despite our early game draws being a little sus, we have really picked up the pace in this second half of the game. And we're drawing pretty exceptionally well. So let's research. Hopefully get a Carcoal or something. No, but a, uh, another Rare Candy Colossal will also do me just fine. I think we are going to go all in here to knock him out. They are going to come with Aqua Bullet most likely. No, not even. Well, they have to go quick shooting plus Aqua Bullet to knock me out. We can go five energy. I need to flip two heads to KO them, right? Nah, we'll be okay. We'll just put four energy on. I, I trust that four energy will be enough to knock out this Greed and V. Let's see. Two energy with up Glimwood. I feel pretty confident. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye, Greed and... Bye-bye, Greed and... Bye-bye. Pretty sure we're in the driver's seat now. They could put another Greed and Max in play, but they haven't taken a prize yet. So, we'll see. They just concede. Yep. Saw that coming. Pretty insane match there, though. I kind of got worried we were going to get bodied, but thankfully... We drew out of the Marnies and we made a comeback because all we have to do is attack the Greedon once with Colossal and it's like we were leaps and bounds ahead of my opponent. All right, we won the coin flip again, which is pretty good, I would say. Let's see what we got this time. Ooh, 
Mulligan. I kind of like that hand if we had a Roly Coley, because we're going first. We would have had a turn two Coal Cannon, but uh, if the fates of tide or whatever, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. If, if, the, if the hands of time or the hands of fate want to give me a better better start, that'd be great. Nope, that's not very good. Uh, Cricket Tune's not a bad Pokemon to open with, but not when our hand is this unplayable. Now we like to see. And that's what I do like to see, but at the cost, I have to lose a bunch of stuff. Dang it, if I had a Roly Coley, I would have had another Colossal. Unfortunately, Twin Energy does not work with X Scissor. When the new DC comes out, which this deck will probably end up playing, it would work. Oh, they play Path. They're playing Ice Rider. I mean, it's beatable, but we just have to not get these potato starting hands. Oh, it's Jolteon. Okay, Jolteon is also beatable because they're weak to fighting, but uh, again, our start is not very kind to us right now. Especially because we're losing two rare candies. Now I'm even more upset I didn't get a Broly Coley there. It actually might be hard to put Colossal in play when they have that friggin' attack that can knock out my Roly Coley. So that's actually really annoying. Can I draw Roly Coley here? Carcoal. I don't need that. Well, research. We're going to lose a bunch of stuff, but not much I can do. And this hand is not very good. I guess I could Rod and draw cards with Krikatoon. Yeah, we'll have to do it. All right, cool. I guess that works. Here. Oh, whatever. I need to get another Roly Coley down on the... Well, they didn't get an energy. Maybe they might actually struggle to knock out my Roly Coley this turn. All right, exciting stage. Can we get any good cards? Nope. Well, we can still do Exciting Stage next turn, though. Thankfully, we did get another Stadium, so... As long as we don't get Marnied, I can still draw more cards with the Exciting Stage. Not the greatest hand on the planet, though, I will admit. But we'll see what my opponent does. They knock on my Roly Coley. It's not good. They're gonna knock it out, aren't they? Don't do it, bro. So young. If only we had Manaphy in the format, bro. If, again, it's like we get Claws on play. We should be okay to win, because we just easily kind of run over this Jolteon. They only have one Shady Dealing, so unless their hand is like Scoop Up Net plus Research, we should be okay. They could play a Rope, I guess. That would be pretty annoying, actually. Rope would be terrible, actually. Okay, they have a one-card hand. They definitely have a Draw Supporter. There's no way they would have went Drizzle without a Draw Supporter here. They most likely have like a Research in their hand. Yep. But we gotta hope they whiff the Switch. If they don't get a Switching card here, we might have another turn to set up Colossal. Six cards. Do they find it? They have no shady dealings right now. They can't find the net. They just have to draw it. The game has to be kind enough to give them a net or a switch or something. We'll see if they get it. Okay. So I will... Do they have it? Four cards. They don't. All right. We got another turn. Rare candy, please. <laughs> don't need a third Cherubi. I guess we'll bench it. We can draw two cards. Unfortunately, they didn't put a path in play, which I kind of wanted them to do. Okay. We got a Bruno. We got a level ball. That can get us another Roly Coley. I can save the Bruno, or I can play it. Should probably save it. We're going to lose our Roly Coley here to a Jolteon. Worst case scenario, they boss both Roly Coleys. There's no way I get a Rare Candy Claw off of Bruno to four. I could get a Rare Candy Claw off Bruno to four, but when I'm down two Rare Candies, it ain't happening. So I'm actually going to pass. And I'm going to try to make him have the knockout with the, the Jolteon on my double Roly Coley. I'm going to make him go for it. I'm going to make him go for the double knockout here. And they got it. No. Don't do it, bro. Maybe they prized all their boss. I don't know. I've seen it before. Ugh. Manaphy, hurry up and get back in the format. If I had a Manaphy here, I would have just level ball for Manaphy, bro. Okay, they get Path and Net. That's not boss so unless they already have it in their hand i guess they have another shady dealings i guess i don't know we'll see oh this is annoying i mean i basically just lose if they knock out my two willy colies it's not looking good if they do ko them both we'll be very far behind if they do do they have it i mean they can do it like if they're they're gonna grab it there's no way they're not gonna get a boss here maybe they prize their boss's orders again i've seen it happen before yeah, see, they get badge. That's not boss. Unless it's already in their hand, which it could be. Let's see. If they don't have it, that's they don't have it. Perfect. We have a chance. We have a chance. I don't know why they didn't get boss there, but we'll take it. They, they're giving me a chance to win. I actually think one Colossal could win me the game. So I can research a Bruno. Honestly, I think we just research. We just... The more cards, the better. There we go. Didn't get any more energy, though. I might actually... Uh, yeah, we got no grass off that. 
I might not be able to KO them, so I'm gonna have to go Crobat. But we got Rare Candy Colossal. Do I have the Crobat in the deck? Oh, I don't. Nice. Damn it. I was gonna say, if I had Crobat in my deck, I could try to get the knockout and dig a bit more. We need to find more energy here if we're gonna take this knockout. The next best thing I can do is grab another Roly Coley and then Cricketune for three and hope to find at least two energy. Or one at least. Okay, there we go. We got one. All right. We can still win this. <laughs> Somehow, some way. We need to flip two heads here to knock him out. That's all we need. We got Glimwood in play. That's okay. We're going to get two heads on this coin flip, right? Right? Yes. Let's go. Get bodied. Yeah. Get out of here, Jolteon. They can't one-shot my Colossal. They got another VMAX in play. We'll see, we get off the prizes. Crobat, maybe? Research is good. The more draw, the better. Hey, look at that. See, I always take prizes in a weird way, and I always never get punished for it. All right, let's see what they can do. They can knock out my Cricketune here with Jolteon, but as long as this thing still stands, I mean, it's not looking good for my opponent. Maybe they'll even concede the game. I would like to see the sweet, salty tears of a Jolteon player conceding the game when I'm playing a single prize deck. I would like to see that, but I don't think they will concede. I mean, they don't have to do too much to win the game, though, to be fair. Yeah, they get Path and Fan. I was worried they'd grab that. They might Marnie me, too. Yikes. Fan's fine. Still have all my twins. Not a big deal. No biggie. I can also slow this thing up with energy. I mean, I need three energy. And they're not going to Marnie me, which is insanely good for us. Okay, no Marnie's good. Nice. That's what I like to see. I guess they could try to attack me with Pin Missile. And this is our last rare candy. And I don't have a Colossal, so... Yeah, I guess they could pin missile knock me out. They'd have to flip three heads, though. And they actually bumped the gloom with Tangle. That's actually funny. If they try to pin missile me here, if they kept the gloom with Tangle in play, they actually could have went for a knockout. That's actually kind of funny. Yo, pin missile Jolteon Glim with the new meta. And before LDF makes a video on it, but I might have to. That actually sounds like a fun time. Pin missile Jolteon with Glimwood, bro. BDIF status right there. Yeah, they might be going for it. Again, if they kept the glue in play, they actually could have went for a knockout. That's that's actually pretty funny. I mean, they have to go for it. They can't use Jolteon. Or else they just lose. Gonna go after Cherim, that's fine. If they just attack me here, they might just attack me and hope that I'm bricking or something. And they are. All right. So we just find energy, we knock them out. They actually just kill my Cricketune, which is fine because I can bench Crobat. I was hoping they'd take a prize there because now I can bench the Bat and draw some cards. Colossal top deck. Nope, but the energy is good. All right, I want to see him concede. I mean, I want to go for the Cold Cannon, but at the same time, you know what I want to see? I want to see him concede the game here. At this point, we're just going to dig. We're going to try to draw as many cards as we can. All right. I'd like to see. Attach. We got three energy. Oh, yeah, this, this, this Jolteon's a goner. This Jolteon's a goner. Yeah, let's go. Single prizes, bro. We got him, bro. A single prize. Yes, they conceded. The salty tears. Let's go. We did it. We didn't even need mana fee, and we still got him. Got lucky, though. I'm not going to lie. We got lucky that game, but nonetheless, a single prize deck just beat a, a Jolteon VMAX deck. That's what I like to see. All right, we won the coin flip, which is good. Um, We'll take it, of course. We'll see what we're up against. This is going to be another Jolteon deck. We'll deliver. We'll deliver again. We deliver. We deliver the dubs. All right, not a bad start. We got level ball. We got chairman in our hand. Research Cricketune in our active spot could help us against Marnies. Let's we'll see what we're playing against here. Oh, Duraludon. Oh no. Okay, we can't play Twin Energy, which is kind of annoying actually. We have to just go all in with our Grass Energies. We can do it though. I mean, Colossal can one shot a Duraludon pretty efficiently. I would say if we draw well enough. We're gonna have to just load up the thing with Grass Energy though. Again, our Twin Energies unfortunately will be unavailable to us in this matchup. Because of the ability. Unless, like... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if they don't draw another basic, we can just get a turn 2 Donk. That'd be pretty hilarious. Alright, that's nice. More energy. I don't like seeing that many Glimwood Tangles, though. Rapture Ruby. Pass. I don't want to lose all my Glimwoods, though, because we're going to need it. And we also need to make sure we're countering Crystal Cave. Might be relevant. Fine, though. Yeah, we just got to load up basic energy. No twin energy, unfortunately, will work in this matchup. But it's all good. It's all good. Who needs it? We might even donk. Like, if we can draw a rare candy here and we draw well enough, this Duraludon could go down. Oh, they I forgot they had hammers. Oh, no. I forgot they had Crushing Hammer in their deck. Nope. They're not going to donk them. They got a Discovery. That's fine. It's actually a good thing they're not playing the Duraludon with the ability that gives it more HP. Because they would have had... I think they would have had 250 HP. 
We'll see if we can take him down. We can use Twin Energy against Zacian and Zam, though, which is re reassuring, so it's not that bad. Maybe what I could do is, like, Big Brain Play. I could, like, retreat the Colossal with the Twin Energy on it. I don't know. We'll see if they get Energy off Zacian. They do. Okay, rip. All right, let's see what our top deck is. Okay. I see you, game. I see you. We got five Grass in the deck. Okay, good to know. We still have Retrieval and Rod. Not too concerned, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Go Cherim. Go Glimwood. Cherim here. I'll draw a Krikatoon. It's risky, but I do need to get as much as I can. Yeah, there we go. We'll Quick Ball, get rid of this, grab ourselves another Rolly Coley. And then I will... I could have went... I guess I could have... I could have went Crobat there, too. I'm not really concerned about Crobat right now. They'll research. Let's see if we can get the move here. We do. I do get a Twin Energy. They don't have another Duraludon down. So what I could do... I could attach the Twin Energy here and go all in and just try to, like, holy smoke them. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Because then we can... Yeah, you know, I'm down with this. I, always, I could always retreat the Twin Energy off. Let's just go for the Knockout. They have no other Duraludon in play. We can smoke their Zacians. We need three heads here to KO them. There we go. Yeah, let's go. Bye-bye. Let's go, Colossal. What do we get off the prizes? Marnie's good. Rod is great. All right, Rod is amazing, actually. That's good. We might just take four prizes here before they get a Duraludon on VMAX in play, which I like. Actually, you know what? To be fair, we can just win by killing Zacian and Zam now. We don't even have to go after our Duraludon on VMAX. Hey, just scoop it up. Let's go, bro. They can't handle the Colossal. That's awesome. Let's go. All right. That was, I was a little bit worried of that matchup due to the fact I couldn't play my Twin Energy, but thankfully... They just gave up, which I'll take because, I mean, that was an insane start. All right, we lost a coin flip. So we'll see if we go first or second. Most likely going to go second. Yep. Yeah, all right, let's see what our start is here. Um. Okay, not a bad start. We'll open up Cherubi, Holy Coley. I can quick ball away the Colossal and then rot it back, which isn't bad. So there's some synergy there. They're mulliganing, which is pretty good for us. We'll see what we're playing against. Ooh. Boltund. That's the third deck I've ran into that's weak to fighting. I can't make this up. I haven't been recording for that long either. That's insane. I kind of feel bad, but I kind of don't. <laughs> I mean, I would prefer to play against this than like Rapid Strike or Shifu, obviously. Um, so there you go. We're we're playing against all the all the all the all the fighting weak decks today, which is honestly kind of insane. Now they could be playing Vigavolt in their deck, which could be pretty problematic for us. And again, I have to research here because I have to make sure I draw more cards. I could hold the hand. There's no way. If I could draw, okay. If I draw a candy, I'll hold the hand. No, drew a Karkle. That's not good. I don't want to lose my, my boys. I don't want to lose the boys. But uh, we got to lose the boys. I don't know. I could hold, get a Karkle. They might have a boss KO on my Roly Coley, though. They only need one more energy and a boss up. We'll just research. Fine. Not the end of the world. Well, maybe it is the end of the world. That was a pretty bad research. Holy cow. Not like this, bro. Well, we might get Marnie, though, so. I'm going to play this early. Yeah, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna make him make him Marnie. We'll grab Karkle. Make our hand nice and thick, so if they do have the ability to Marnie me, they'll play it, because I put a lot of stuff in my hand, so... They might Marnie me. So I'll, I'll just do this, so that maybe I'll bait a Marnie out of my opponent, because I... Not much I can do with this hand. Every... Bro, all the matches we played against the, the Fighting Wing decks, we've had some pretty bad hands. So, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening here. That's kind of weird. Anyways, let's we'll see what they do. Um... Yeah, we're hoping for a Marnie. They could boss Rolly Coley, which would suck, but not much I can do. I mean, if they don't get rid of my stadium and I draw rare candy, I could try to, like, promote Rolly Coley, draw rare candy. I, I could knock him out. Now nah, they're going to Zinnia. Damn it, dude. You're supposed to Marnie me, bro. It's fine, though. We can still kind of chill out for a bit. Not the end of the world. I think I have to give him Cherubi, though. I could give him Kark, Rolly Coley. We'll see. I might go Rolly Coley and just, like, we could, we could draw research. Or rare candy. It's possible. We could draw rare candy. Or we could draw like a Bruno or something. So I think I will go ro uh, Roly Coley on the off chance we do get a top deck here. It's probably safer to go Roly Coley than Cherubi. I also don't want to lose all my Cherubis because we're still going to need Cherim. Still going to need Cherim to make sure we get a couple energy on our Colossal. We'll still need him. They might Marty me next turn too. You never know. Alright, let's see what our top deck is. Oh my god. These draws are killing me. Now, I'm faced with an interesting decision. I could attach the active. They'll knock it out. I could attach the bench. but they have a boss, they'll knock it out. Then I lose two of my twins. To play it, to play it safe, I'm going to spread the twin energies out. So if they do boss my Karkul, then I'll have energy on the active. So if I draw a rare candy or a way to get a supporter, then I'll be able to evolve the active and I'll have a twin energy on it. 
It'll just help us with our energy attachments. Honestly, I probably should have put Chairman play too. Yeah, I should have played Cherim, but whatever. Fine. If they don't have a boss on my Karkle here, we'll have a Colossal, and we'll be able to KO them. Yep, there's the boss. See, now I'm glad to the energy. Oh, they go after Cherubi, though, which is a really big mistake on my opponent's end, because, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, you always KO the Karkle there, but that's all good. We'll take it. Well, we might get Marty now, which, I mean, I kind of don't want to get Marty now, because my hand is actually pretty good, and they don't Marty me. They actually put four, in, they put four freaking Mareeps in play. All right, well, uh, promote this. If I draw rare candy, that'd be hilarious because then I could have went double twin, which would have increased my chances. But there's a quick ball. We are in the game now. We can quick ball this away, grab ourselves Crobat. Yeah, Cricket Tomb is prized. All right. Maybe we can hit rare candy here. Let's see. Still look at rare candy. Wow. Wow. Honestly, I kind of want to just hold the hand. Yeah, I'm just going to hold the hand and just call, call cannon. We only need two heads to KO them. It's pretty likely we get it. Yep. Told you. <laughs> told you. I'll keep the hand because I have two twins. I can keep putting energy on really cool. I have claws. So if I find rare candy, I can knock them out. Yeah. I think it was always correct to just hold the hand there, in my opinion. Let's see what our prizes are. Not bad. Not bad. Now we might get Marnie, but they would have played one last turn, I feel like. But now we're just chilling. It's not like, yeah, holding the hand was correct. It was correct because if they do knock me out... I can play another Twin Energy on my Roly Coley. If I can find a Rare Candy, I can go Rare Candy Colossal. And I'll have even more energy on the active, so it's all good. They don't even have a Marnie, so we're chilling. We're vibing. They have no Lightnings in the discard for Flaffy, so... I don't even think Colossal gets KO'd. Yeah, my opponent's not in a good spot right now. They ain't in a good spot. Yeah, they get the Bolty Boy. Um, I can draw Boss here, maybe? I don't think they're KOing me, though. Again, with no basic lighting in the discard, and they're also down uh, one quick ball. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like they're not going to get a knockout here. Yeah, they're not going to have it. All right, cool. Can I draw a rare candy so I can get another Colossal down, please? Please. Okay, they get another air balloon. That's fine. They are down a few switch outs. Maybe I could actually just not kill the Flaffy, and they might actually not have a way to move it. Maybe. I don't know. Level ball for Cherubi, and then we'll bench it. Again, it kind of sucks I don't have a candy in my hand right now. I did prize one. I could get off the prizes here. Put the Twin Energy here. Play the Glimwood. Play this. They could Marnie me, so we'll bait it. and just grab Chair. Just, it thins out the deck by one more card. I'm not going to research. We're just going to go Cold Cannon. And just need one heads to KO them. There we go. Bye-bye. I'm going to save my reflip for my next attack. Oh, rare Candy Pride. One of three chances to get Rare Candy. I think it's the bottom one, right? I am very good at predicting my prizes. You know what? It's the Thunder's Vivid Sleeves. It's the Thunder's Vivid Sleeves that are causing the uh, the easy the easy prize cards. All right. No Marnie. All right. So if they knock me out here, we have another Colossal coming their way. That's what I like to see. I'm surprised we haven't seen a Marnie yet. There's a Counter Stadium. That's fine. That's why I did load up this thing with Twin Energy. Because Twin Energy is our best bet. Our hand is insane, though. We can put like 50 million energy on a Colossal, though, <laughs> next turn. Thanks to the uh, Cherim. Plus, like, this hand is, like, insane. So, yeah, we're chilling. They go bolt on here. They'll knock me out. The fact I haven't done rare candy costly yet tells my opponent I don't have it. I'm gonna. Go, you know what? Hopefully my opponent doesn't concede. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go big here. I'm actually gonna put the energy on before I rare candy, and then make it look like I don't have it, so they don't concede. And then I can just like do like an insane amount of damage. Maybe if we flip a bunch of heads. So I'm down. I'm down. What's our draw? Rod. That's really good. Play this. Just I don't know. Let's just we'll bait him. Because if I go Reckoning Colossal, they're going to concede. But you know what? We can go all in. I kind of have to put all the energy on, too, because I don't have um, Glimwood right now. Oh, my God. We can do a lot of damage. I mean, there's no way this isn't going to KO them. So I'm just going to... I'm just going for it. Like, there's no way this is not going to get a knockout, even with no Glimwood in play. Oh, yeah. Oh! Four heads? Not bad. Four head? Four... Five head? Five heads? Not bad. How much is that doing? 900 damage? Oh, my God. That was almost 1,000 damage. Jeez, Colossal. Take a chill pill, my guy. Damn. Damn. All right. Looks like we're going to go second again here. It's fine, though. We'll uh, get a good start, right? Not bad. Uh, I'll probably just get another Roly Coley, to be honest. Hope we don't get Marnied. And then we can have a turn two Colossal plus B Bruno. So this hand's actually busting. We'll see what we're playing against. Looks like we finally hit a Mew deck. I was wondering when we come toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mew. Mew's not too bad, though, to be honest. I mean, just wreck him. Yes, I can draw, you know, their entire deck in one turn, but it's still beatable. 
in my opinion. They don't play Hand Disruption, which is something we also got to consider. They don't even get a Mew off those Great Balls. Ooh, they could have a clunky hand here. Unless they have the Nuts. Do they have another VIP pass? I doubt it. No, nope, they do. No, nope, they had a lot of Pokemon Search in their hand. They had all their Pokemon Search in their entire hand there. Crystal, freaking Quick Ball, VIP pass, two Great Balls. But they put four Genesect in play. Now they're limited to what they can bench. Now we can beat Mew. We can beat Mew. I think Mew's got resistance to fighting, but we still need four heads to knock it out, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Not too bad. Mew's beatable. I'm actually kind of surprised they got rid of the Far Crystal, because now they can't grab a Mew. If they don't get a Mew down this turn, I'm feeling pretty good about my spot. That's a bit of a uh, Monkey S moment right there. I wonder why they did that. I mean, they're not going to get punished, obviously. The game's still going to give them a Mew, but we'll see. They're not going to get punished for it. They're not going to get punished. Oh, okay. I like to see that. All right, cool. All right. All right, they got punished for it. That's what I like to see. I guess they can still knock me out with uh, with Genesect next turn, though, to be honest. They could still Technoblast with Elisa Sparkle, but that's not too bad. Genesect's easier to KO than uh, Mew itself, so I don't really mind that too much. Put a twin. I could put the Grass Energy on. I doubt they play Fan. I've never seen a Mew deck play a Fan. I don't know. If they play Fan, they play Fan. Whatever. Bad list. All right, Cramomatic. What they got? Do they got heads? They do. They can finally get the Mew down. They have put four Genesex in play, though, which is kind of good. I mean, now they can only go, like, Meloetta plus Mew. Or two Mews, and they can't use Meloetta, which I probably... I would prefer that, but we'll see if they decide to do that or not. Um, they could at least a Sparkle here and attack with Genesect, which could be part of their strategy. We'll see, though. They could knock me on Psychic Leap if they find, like, a Switch plus Lisa Sparkle plus Energy Attachment. It could, it could happen. We'll see, we'll see. I think this is a beatable matchup, though. I think Mew is beatable. As long as you don't... Yo, draw poorly. Like, we're drawing pretty well right now, I want to say. So, you know, we're chilling. And we kind of need them to knock me out here, though. Because I want to play the Bruno. I can't, like, we need them to KO me here. So, like, please knock me out. I Like, just do it. Just play at least a Sparkle Pulse Switch. Just do it. Knock me out. Boss, what did my Cherubi ever do to you? I don't know. I mean, I don't really mind if Cherubi gets KO'd. Well, I kind of do. I don't have Cherim. I might just retreat into Roly Coley. I kind of want, I do want Cherubi to live. But if they KO it, whatever. Not the end of the world. They knock me out with Psychic Leap, which is what I want them to do. I can knock out Mew Colossal, potentially. So we'll see. I want them to get a prize this turn so I can activate my Bruno. And I can play it. So we'll see what they do. Chromomatic. I kind of want them to get hit. Oh, they give it a Switch, though. They're actually down two Switch. Oh, three Switch. Ooh. They might have a hard time moving a Genesect in the late game. That's what I like to see. Okay. Mm, yeah, if they run out of resources... Might be okay. Rare Candy. All right, well, Rare Candy Colossal. I mean, they could have another boss. We'll see. They do, they do. I'm going to retreat into the Roly Coley and then pass. I'm going to make it look like we're dead drawing because I want to play the Bruno. I want to play the Bruno because, like, yeah, I'm not... I could draw four cards and, you know, Bruno never lets me down, but just to play it safe. Now, the, my opponent is down three switch. They need to find, like, a lot of cards here if they're going to KO my uh, Colossal on the bench. Which is what I'm hoping they don't do, but we'll see. They don't knock it out. We have a big play coming here. Oh, there's a cram matic Get Tails. That's not even the Get Tails. Let's go. How many crams are they down? They got one left. We'll see. If they can find a Switch Energy plus Boss, that would be really annoying, but we'll see. We can even draw another Colossal, though. We have another Rare Candy. Training Cord is really good. I was waiting for them to play that. That's a really good card for us, because that does let us get energy back, which could be very beneficial. We can go, like, Training Cord, Energy, get a free energy back, and then play Glimwood. Pretty good. Okay, that's not going to remove the Genesect. Now they have to find a switch to move the Genesect. They honestly might just deck themselves out at this point. That'd be pretty hilarious. It's like, dude, they're down three switch. How are they going to move the Genesect? They can retreat it, but like, bro, you're like, you're kind of, you're running kind of far behind here, my guy. There we go. Now they can knock me out with uh, Mew, which I want them to kill with Mew because we can one shot their Mew with Colossal, which would be amazing. They have the harder tree Genesect, which I do like to see. They have to lose a uh, Fusion Strike energy. We'll see what they got. No, they only get one energy. Okay, now, there we go. Yeah, knock out my... Please, just kill me. They don't have a boss, which is good. Unless they play Pokemon Catcher, which they could. I don't know. We would have seen it by now, though. Hail the Roly Coley. Do it. I dare you. I double doggy dare you. Perfect. Okay, cool. Now we can try to go for a big knockout on their Mew here. And I don't know. We might be safe from Meloetta. Okay, what are we top deck? Rod? I'll play that, I'm sure. I'll, I kind of need the Roly Coley back in my deck. 
I need to make sure we get another one down. All right, here we go. Bruno. We can draw well enough. We should be able to pop off. Okay, not bad. I like the hand. Gonna have to ditch a few cards. I'm gonna have to get rid of the rod. I'll grab Cricketune. Draw one card. Sure. I want to draw. I need to draw as many cards as I can this turn. So I'm just gonna go for it. We'll draw one card. Could be a good card. Told you. Play the training court. Attach. Really want to get this KO here. Need to make sure we get the KO plus really Coley. All right, Crobat, you got one job, bro. Please don't let me down. Ooh, that's not like, it's not very good. Only two energy. We didn't even get another really Coley. We got two candies and a Colossal too. That's pretty bad. I have to get the knockout here to ensure a win. All right, come on. Go for it, Colossal. Come on, buddy. Come on. No, uh, no, not like this. Come on, bro. Come on. Uh, oh, oh. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Now we gotta hope we don't get killed in return, but we'll see. All right, let's see what our prizes are. Gloom with Tangle. All right, cool. Twin energy's good. No, 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 really coley out. You hate to see it. Now, they are down two fusion strike energy, so they could knock me out, but that's only 140 with the fusion strike. So, they're down how many tower tablets? Two. They would need two tablets plus at least a sparkle. Plus, and they scoop. This is amazing, bro. Let's go, Colossal. Just get bodied, Mew. You don't stand a chance, buddy. Nah, you get out of here, bro. Get out of here with that. Nah, 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 not today. All right, y'all. I think I'm gonna wrap the video with those matches there. We did get some pretty, like, fast games because, obviously, when you take a big one-shot with Colossal on a Pokemon VMAX, you know what? You'll tend to get fast games. But I'm gonna end up the video with the deck here. Again, this is one of the funnest decks to play right now, in my opinion. I really enjoy playing this deck quite a bit. Um, it's a really cool archetype. Being able to do big things with Colossal is amazing. Um, definitely, you can make some tweaks to the list if you want to kind of refine it a little bit. Um, because you saw that I was bricking a little bit in the video, but I mean, there's only so many cards you can play. And with Cricketune and Crobat, I don't feel like it's too bad, but you definitely could make some changes to the list overall to maybe increase the chances of you not bricking or something. But anyways, overall, yeah, the Colossal deck, really cool deck. Again, being able to smoke a VMAX Pokemon with Coal Cannon is very satisfying and very fun. We even took down the menace known as Mew VMAX, so that's always good. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching uh, 26k subs or... Anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Help me the road reaching 24k subscribers. Also, check out Card Cabin down below. Use code LDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord server. And I'll catch you guys in another PDCGO video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.